The views, opinions and pages shared by You Wealth Revolution and guests are not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis or treatment. Hello and welcome everyone. It's Gary Sparazande and welcome to this all new session with Lynn Walner as part of our New Year, New You event. And we are flying into 2024. We're going to be talking about radiant beauty, which are secrets to rejuvenation, restoration, and revitalization, not only of the body, but also the energy field. And we're going to be diving into help today. So you're going to get a chance. Today is extremely special to get like this buffet of energy that we're going to be sending out. So if you are wanting to start the new year off right, or wherever you are in the year when you're hearing this, you're going to get to pull in whatever energies feel right for you. We're going to take questions. We're going to be dealing with the number one things that people are dealing with in the energetic space and the energetic community. And we're going to be talking about how to avoid some of the struggles of being a human in these times through 35 beautiful hacks to help you release and reduce discomfort, painful energies, release and reduce the associations of aging through cosmetic equivalents, through corrective equivalents and recovery equivalent energetic processes that our own body channel, Lynn Waldrop, one of our most popular healers ever has discovered. So with that, we're going to jump right in. Go ahead and raise your hand. Many of you know Lynn Waldrop is a medical intuitive. She's known as the body channel. She has worked with hundreds of thousands of clients in over 171 countries, has over 30 years of energy work experience and transformation. She's also the body channel. She's a certified color therapist, tuning fork master, and a Reiki master. And what makes her work so unique is that she can connect to the bodies anywhere in the world. In fact, your body today is talking to her. Now, that may sound like an amazing claim, but she's already going to be getting information from the participants on this call and the community as she begins working today. They are going to send her information and she's able to get to the root of the issue. So you're gonna see the call kind of move into those areas, very important. Sometimes it gets down to the cellular or DNA issue or DNA level. So raise your hand if you want some support. She also looks at not just the physical issues, but the thoughts, the feelings, and the emotions that create this lack of ease we call this ease. Even things like entities, to be affecting the person. Now, she's been referred to as a medical intuitive on steroids uh, because she has helped people release things that have plagued them for decades. I want to share a few stories. One person said, I look younger. I know I feel younger and more energetic. My weight training is easier. I'm increasing my lifting. I had a serious back injury years ago. I work on rehab and conditioning, but literally this is better than all of it. Another person says, Wow, I'm always impressed. I not only look better, but I feel better. Another person, the clearings brought magic back to my life. And I know that a lot of people want magic, but you got to listen to this. She said, listening to them, this was Hannah, and receiving the energy brought magic back in. I, I was afraid to show myself to the world, but now things are different. My heart is open. I saw the beauty, who I truly am reflected in a way that people, even strangers that I'd come across as I moved to the city, reacted to me. It's like they could see me and what I was putting out and welcoming, heartfelt, open, and they responded in kind. So without further ado, let's find out what's happening as people all around the world are shifting through Lynn Waldrop. Lynn, welcome back to You Wealth Revolution. Hello, everybody. Happy New Year. So excited yeah. to be back. Happy New Year. I'm very excited to have you back. I'm also excited that everyone's plugging in. Um, I got to ask that question about plugging in because I know you're plugging in to the bodies oftentimes. What are the bodies? What have they been saying to you over the holidays and beyond? Have there been any messages, any areas where they're saying, hey, we need some shifts as we move into 2024? The biggest thing for me for 2024 is, you know, I get the information that there's going to be a lot of chaos in the world, but how can we as an individual and as a community thrive even throughout all of this chaos? So that's really what the, what we need to figure out, learn and function from in 2024. And part of that's going to be, how do we feel good in our own skin? So if that's doing energy work like this and having a brighter glow to our face today, if that's going to help us, 
even though there's all this chaos going on in the world, if that's going to make us feel better, then that's the kind of thing that we need to do. So de-stressing, feeling better, and how do we how do we stay in that joyful and gratitude space, even with maybe other people going through a lot of different things? We're choosing, we're going to stay in that joyful space and thrive, not just survive. Yeah, because what we are talking about as well as rejuvenation, and I, I feel like there is a rejuvenation of humanity happening. There's a bigger story here. Like humanity is finding its footing and rejuvenating itself to what it was always designed to be and shrugging off a lot of those old structures that were trying to press down, right? Humanity. And so this is kind of, there's a bigger theme here as we kind of rejuvenate and restart ourselves into that bigger version of what we are. Um, I love it. What are some things that the bodies have been calling out to you regarding? One of the things that really shocked me that um, we're going to do a little bit of in our group process today uh, because of it is microneedling. See, I got this needle thing. I don't like needles. I don't like shots. I don't like needles. I wouldn't get a tattoo because I'm not going to have a needle going in me. It's just not my favorite thing. Trying to give my animal shots. I just, you don't want me to be the one to give you a shot, but my poor animals have to struggle through that. So not my favorite. And a lot of people have problems when they do microneedling. If you go look up some of the horror stories of where mm -hmm. they had some botched work done, it's just not good. But we're going to do the energetic version of it. And I was really hesitant of putting that in there again, because I don't like needles, but you're, the bodies of the community are like, this is something they really, really want that this really, really will work well. And I'm like, okay, well, we're going to do it. So I have no idea why that one's so special to the group, but that one's the one that's been jumping off the charts. So we're talking, and for everyone wondering about this, this has never been done that I've ever seen Lynn do, and I've been very mm -mm. granted about this. This is pretty incredible. You've taken 35 processes, procedures, therapies, different types of things in the 3D world that are being done, and you've extracted the energetic equivalent of these and uh, one of those we're talking about is like the, the equivalent of whatever process and corrective uh things that happen when microneedling occurs um tell me about these 35 processes generally like what when you started pulling this together what is really going on give people kind of a ten thousand foot overview of this so a lot of the things that are done in cosmetic procedures actually create harm to the skin so that the body will repair it. And when it does that, it forces the body to make more collagen, to make more elastin, to fix the problems. And so in the 3D world, when you have those done, there's a possibility of having things like keloid, keloid scarring, or um, in the microneedling world, literally, you can have all of these little um, marks on your face from where the laser, every millimeter or what, how, whatever the distance is, puts a mark on your face that can become permanent if your body doesn't handle it correctly. In the energetic world, those kinds of things then don't happen, which is you know one of the reasons why I wanted to, to do this. So it was like, Literally, there's just so many different ones. There's different uh, pulsed light energies. There's uh, different lasers we're going to be working with. And as I started going through this, originally, it just kind of started out as things for your skin and your face. But then I realized that, okay, a lot of these also can be used for like your joints and recovery yes. after you have an injury or after you went and worked out, it can really be used for so many other different things that I was like, you know what, I'm not going to take that out. I'm just going to kind of expand it so that literally it will encompass all of that. So instead of it just really being the cosmetic procedures, it's really for recovery and, um, and keeping you from needing recovery, you know, from a surgery or something like that. So it kind of goes, it goes through the whole gamut of things. So don't think this is just, okay, we're just going to do a facelift. This is way, way, way more than that. Yeah. Things like stem cells, <laughs> whole body cryotherapy, uh, low level laser therapy, energetic exerciser to build muscle. Um, things like low intensity vibrational exercise, electromagnetic pulses to strengthen uh, and sculpt muscles called M-Sculpt, uh, laser eye correction, right? 
Tell me though, for people that may be climbing on and they don't understand, wait a minute, how is this possible? What is going on? What is the significance, Lynn, of the energetic equivalent to all of these things? How does that actually work? To me, the biggest significance is a the the price number one you don't have i mean some of these things are ten thousand dollars to have them done or a facelift could end up being you know way more than that um so that's one thing another one is downtime you don't have the downtime where you know you have to go and and wait because you have inflammation and all these other things um and then probably the third is the fact that you don't have the side effects where again you might have the scarring and things like that that can occur those things just don't happen. We're using the consciousness of your body. Your body's using whatever energies that it wants and it likes and it wants right. to use. Otherwise, the energies just pass right on through. So um, as I said, uh, we were chatting before we started this, you know, I love doing research. And so this was just really a lot of fun and continues to be fun for me because it's like I had to go out and look up, okay, so what is microneedling? How do they really do it? And do they use particular lasers and particular frequencies for the lasers? And what is it supposed to do? Then go pull a bunch of bodies who have had microneedling done and go, okay, so did it do what it was supposed to do or did it do something else? Did it do more? Did it do less? And then try to figure out how to make it better for the bodies than actually going and having it done in the physical. Okay. So what could we do different? That's going to make it even better than what that was. So those are the kinds of things that you're going to find in all these different remote remedies um, in terms of every one of these processes where I just get to, to play with what is it, how do they do it? And how do we make it do maybe even more energetically? Yeah, and send in your questions if, if you're trying to understand what we're doing or just to understand more about this topic or you have an individual need, we are going to go to some callers in a moment. So, Lynn, what you're saying is under any sort of procedure or at the end of a procedure, there's an energetic equivalent or an energetic shift or an energy, right, that gets set into motion, a catalyst, if you will, when something is done. What you've been able to start looking at is how to start from the point of that catalyst without the actual invasive risky procedure. Mm -hmm. But everything's, you know, everything's got a frequency to it. And, and most yeah. of this work is done with some sort of light, which is a frequency laser, which is That's a frequency, right. you know, all of those kinds of things. So it's more than just using a particular frequency, but that's a big piece of it. And how do we just deliver that frequency to the body and, and start to be a catalyst to make things change? And then sometimes, you know, I'll go through some of these and it's like, okay, do I really want to hurt the body to force it to make collagen elastin? I don't right. know if I really want to do that. So what if we didn't do that? Is there another way to do that bodies? And so really I might be saying, okay, we're doing this yeah. laser treatment, but we're not actually going to injure we're just right. going to force the body to make the collagen and the elastin. Yeah. And what if it wants to, like, what if given the exactly. right energetic, you know, soup, if you will, your body wants to do that, right? Your body wants to live to be 150 and vibrant. You know, I, I think we're, we're getting into like a level that's beyond 5d coming through here. So it's a very big discussion, but I just want everyone to imagine for a moment, what if your body wants to do all of these things naturally and it's asking for these things. Well, it it has been, right? They have been. That's why Lynn's doing it because she's listened to the bodies. Um, Lynn, you've mentioned a few interesting things about kind of what people spend on some of these different things as we do have an aging population around the world and also some of the risks. What did you discover? I, some of this stuff, I was looking at this, I was like, this is shocking. I can't believe this, but also at times a little scary. And I'm like, you know, I, I don't do any, I do nothing to my face. I'm like nothing. I you know, I put cream on from Kathy Gold. I don't do any of the stuff, you know, and I'm just like, I don't look at what you share. I'm like, I don't even want to do it. Yeah. I, I don't no. do creams. Like I'm, I'm a girl that puts olive oil on and then goes oh, out and sits in the sun. <laughs> that's good. I like that. That's about it. <laughs> so, I mean, I was blown away by this. So Americans spend over 14.6 billion with a B dollars mm. a year on cosmetic procedures. And then there, that was in 2021, and there was a 19% increase in 2022. I mean, that's just crazy. 
And that's just on cosmetic procedures. So there, we spend $571 billion with a B on cosmetics, creams, and lotions. I mean, that's a lot of money. And then we spend $17.8 billion on pain medication. And we lose about $635 billion on because of loss of productivity. You know, your knee hurts, your elbow hurts, your back hurts, whatever. Can't go to work. You can't do whatever that is. So, I mean, just look at how much money is spent and wasted. I mean, it's really, and a lot of the things are gimmicks, yeah. you know, and everybody's like, oh, we got to hurry up and jump on this wagon. Hopefully this cream will work because they, they get that, you know, just like with weight loss, we've tried everything, you know, I'm sure if we did weight loss, it, the numbers would be just as high as cosmetics. Well, yeah. And just, just aside, I'm not an expert on this, but I've heard a lot of stuff about people taking that Ozampic drug that you know, helps regulate, I think, you know, insulin and all this sort of stuff. And now some of the data coming out is it's incredibly scary that what it's doing to the body and then what's happening when you stop that drug, it rebounds back with a vengeance and throws off your body's ability to regulate insulin, which we know all sorts of problems. So, you know, handling a lot of this from the energetic perspective, like we're doing here is it's much wiser and we're not trying to hijack your body's system. We're trying to allow the body to do the things it wants to do in a much more balanced way. Um, what about this figure mint? Because you've seen some stats in that from there that are pretty shocking as well. I mean, there's over 20% of people are dissatisfied with whatever cosmetic procedure they had. Like I said, if you, especially if you go look up the microneedling uh, and if, if your body doesn't respond to that properly, go look at some of those pictures. I mean, even if you're like me, not like me and you're okay with needles, when you see some of those and that the people permanently have these dots all over their face and neck and things like that, I've seen people, I, I've had clients that have had uh, facelifts and neck lifts and their neck is like, like ropey um, mm. from the, the surgery. It just didn't go the way that they had hoped. So um, one plastic surgeon reported that over 60% of her new patients were people that had botched procedures and they either had keloid scarring, irregular lumps, they were depressed or had depressions in their face. They even had mm. skin necrosis, which means the skin was dying mm. and they had all kinds of things oh. that just weren't easy to fix. So it, for some of these people, it wasn't fixable at all. And other people, it took three and four and five surgeries to repair the damage from it. So there's just, you know, mm. uh, things you have to ask your body, is this procedure what I really want or need? And is this the person to do that procedure? Just because everybody says, oh, this is the best person in the world. Okay. It may be for you, but maybe not for my body. So if you're going to actually do it in the physical, make sure you do your research. I feel very much, and y'all let me know if I'm if I'm going off base here or I'm completely off base, but I, I tend to see things sort of like from where we are now and then into the future. And I feel very much like what humanity is trying to do with some of these things, be it, you know, AI, be it interfacing your brain with AI, be it trying to look, you know, younger, all of these things, spiritually, we are already able to do all these things. And what we're seeing in the physical world are these very cheap imitations of what we are spiritually. So all of you are, you know, in many respects, ageless spiritually. You are ageless beings, like your soul's been around forever. And your body is trying to catch up. But then we look at the bright, shiny object. We're like, oh, well, we could do that instead of maybe aligning to the energy of that. And I see this with so much. So there's a bigger story here. And I love where it's going. Um, Lynn, where do you see where do you see that connection between what we are spiritually and maybe what like the world is trying to tell us? Oh, well, you know, you can do this. This is going to make you look. But but like, what happens ultimately is it seems to take away the uniqueness of each person. <laughs> it's well, like when you change oh, your face and you don't look like yourself, yeah. it definitely takes that away. <laughs> I think for me, it's like your. I think your spirit is trying to tell your body that you don't have to age the way you're aging. You don't have to feel the pain. You don't have to yeah. be in the situation maybe that you're in. That, and yeah. I just, to me, so much of it is uh, sub vitamin deficiencies and so much of it is our food mm. 
and the toxins in our environment today. I mean, we just didn't have any of this stuff or most of this stuff a hundred years ago. And so people lived longer. People didn't, you know, have these long excruciating cancers and excruciating dementias and things like that. We just didn't have them. That is, there's the whole other topic in that that I think is 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 a very important health and well being uh, discussion, and it's something we all have to deal with. And I think you've, it's it's going to probe us to keep moving forward. Um, of these, let's walk through some of the things you're going to be covering real quick, and then I want to get to some questions. I'm going to read through some of these. You can share a little bit about it, uh, Lynn, if you want to. But I'm going to go quick just because I want people to understand the the breadth of this. Hair and nails. Skin, facial, facelift, top five ways to sculpt, joints, circulation, injury, surgery, recovery, cranial sacral, build lean muscle, vision therapy, deep sleep, uh, and a lot more. Uh, what are some of the areas you want to cover with that, Lynn, real quick? And then we're going to go to some questions. Oh, my goodness. There's just so many of them. Um, like I said, there's over – most of them you would recognize. There's over 35 different ones. There's different types of light therapies, broadband light and intense light. Um, there's things for your circulation, like a Beamer machine. We actually have been using Beamer machines with horses for years. Mm -hmm. And it's funny to me when I see something happen with animals before it happens with people, all of a sudden somebody goes, well, wait a minute, if that works on a horse, why wouldn't that work on a person? Right. And all That's of a sudden right. you'll see it in the market, you know, usually it's the other way, but there are times that it, it goes that way. Um, there's just so many different ones and they're just all so fun. I mean, like sleep just, okay. That I said that, that vitamin deficiencies and all the toxins are some of the reasons why we age so much. Another one is sleep. So many yeah. people have sleep problems and they have done so much crazy research that, you know, just one night of only getting four hours of sleep, it just can be detrimental to the mitochondria of your cells or the microglia in your brain and making it so that, you know, you have brain fog for a week all because of that one night. So, you know, part of the target of this just kind of grew in what can we do to keep people from aging? It's not really even about just radiant beauty, but what can we do to keep you beautiful on the inside and out. And that includes things like getting sleep. It's going to be so much better, not only for your brain, but your skin and everything. Yes. And a lot of this, like being able to wake up without pain to rejuvenate the joints, rejuvenate things, perhaps like vision or start those processes going also makes us more resilient for 2024. And some of the energies that maybe aren't always in our best and highest, right? Because we are still in a physical world. Uh, how important was that to you to really kind of arm, arm people with all of this energy so we can be prepared for things coming up as we move through this ascension timeline? Okay, I could sit here and I could tell you it meant a lot, but honestly, <laughs> I really just got that, you know what, things have just been so heavy for the last three or four years with the whole pandemic that people really needed to do something fun and light and see changes quickly and easily that they're wanting to see. And that that in itself would help to catapult people to a whole different mentality um, than where we've been. And that's really what drove it for me. I agree. Uh, I agree. Tell me some of the things you've seen happen. Uh, this one lady, Kachi, says, uh, I look younger. I feel younger, more energetic. Debbie, uh, I not only look better, I feel better. Um, what are you seeing with some of the people that have been feeling some of the energies or some of the similar energies to what we're doing here? You know, it just, it can change people's reality. You know, when you look in the mirror and you see you have more hair growth and especially, I mean, I know it's bad for men, but especially for women, if you have patches of hair that, that are thinning, you know, that can just be devastating. Mm -hmm. You, you feel like anybody that looks at you and that person may have something completely different going on in their own world, but they look at you just a little strangely. And the first thing you go to is, oh my gosh, they saw my hair or whatever, no matter whether it's hair or whether it's acne or a scar that you have, or you feel like your face isn't symmetrical, whatever that is, um, people have their own triggers with that. And so this is just kind of to get, air, get people out of some of those triggers so that they'll feel better about themselves. I agree. And I'm going to read through some more here, and then we're going to go to some questions. Uh, chemical peel, 
laser skin resurfacing, collagen induction therapy, uh, IBL, broadband light therapy, IPL, intense light pulse, plasma pen, highly high intensity focused ultrasound, cryofacial beauty IV drip, uh, facial contouring. Um, also, we're going to jump to things like limb plumpener, cheek, cheek contour, stem cell therapy, low-level light laser therapy, stem cells, whole body cryotherapy, energetic exerciser. The list goes on and on. A uh, lot of stuff. But I want to go to some callers. This is really exciting because what I tend to focus on, Lynn, is like the bigger picture here is that if we take the group that does this and they begin to realize that the energetic equivalent of rejuvenation, youthfulness, their body being back in alignment, it's all available to us as a frequency. We just have to know how to grab it and receive it. We can liberate humanity from so many of the old structures that are breaking us down. You know, for the first time in the United States, life expectancy declined, right? It declined. So whatever's going on, it's not working for your body in the way it used to. And now we have to find a new way. And that's, that's why Lynn is here. So any thoughts if, on that? I mean, that's a startling statistic, by the way. If you asked me what my biggest talent was, mm -hmm. I would tell you extrapolation, which is basically what I'm doing here. So hopefully the community will do that as well, where, yeah, we're doing this for your face, for your body, for your joints and all that kind of stuff. But again, if you can grasp that idea that, yeah, we're using energy to make all these changes. What else That's can you right. use energy to change in your world? Once you understand the world of energy and how to manipulate it, and I know everybody hates that word, but it's because people have done it in a way that didn't feel so good. What if you could turn that around and manipulate and change energy into what you want? More money, more better love life, whatever that is for you. What if you could change that? So to me, it's all about extrapolating. And, and that's what I'm doing with these processes. Yeah, here, here's what they're doing out there. How do I extrapolate all that information and twist it and turn it and make it into something that I can do? It's the same thing, extrapolation. And you get to do it again and again and again mm -hmm. <laughs> for life. Yeah. So, you, you know, it, it's, it's incredible. Uh, you're going to get to experience it. And we've got something for everyone today. Let me go to uh, someone with a very lovely name, Lynn, Lynn Nelson, if I could say her last name. Sorry about that, but I wanted to make sure we get her. Lynn, I'm going to unmute you. If you've got a question or a need from Lynn, let's focus on one thing, and then we're going to try to work through as many people as possible. Uh, so sending her that unmute baton, hopefully she gets it. If not, we'll go to the next caller. But Lynn, let us know what is uh, your biggest question. Let me see if she, here she is. Hi, Lynn. How are you today? Good. How are you? Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. And I'm grateful for this opportunity. Thank you very much. Um, uh, I have several health issues, but um, mo most recent in the last year, uh, rash all over my head, my face, uh, neck, chest, and, you know, loss of hair. Um, and I just really would be grateful for help. I'd like to extrapolate that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So your body's telling me that this started out with stress and an infection. So you got kind of like the perfect storm here going on. And that basically created this horrific autoimmune type re response that you're seeing here. So do you know of a stressor? Um, several. Um, mo the worst would probably be a uh, relationship with my mother. Body saying that one's not it. Um, moving. That would be it. So interesting. So... The moving is in relation to the infection.
All right, it's something bacterial. All right, so we're going to start some energies for you on bacterial stuff. Okay. Detoxing, and we are going to work on stress, but you need to continue to work on lowering those stress levels because even though this is bacterial, I asked specifically if it was viral because things like, think of herpes, it's just such a horrific um, group of viruses, but think of things like shingles, right? So anytime a stressor happens, it just seems to ignite and inflame that virus and it comes out of dormancy and gives someone shingles. So this is kind of being a similar situation for you. So you need to really work on stresses. So really when somebody gets to the stress level that you're at, one of the comments that I'll make is, do you really want whatever that situation is to kill you? Do you really want it to get to that level or to make you as miserable as you are right now with the rash, right? Is it worth it? No. So, so in my opinions, and I've been there, so it's not that I'm just pointing that finger at you. I've been there where I was like, Lynn, are you really willing to let this situation kill you, get your heart rate up and, you know, get you all out of sorts and all of that? It's not worth it. So find different ways to bring down that stress level and let go of whatever that situation is. Okay. So we're doing some work on stress from the inside, but you need to try to uh, control that a little bit more for you in your daily life. Okay. So we have stress and we have bacterial stuff going on on the inside for you. And we're also going to try to turn off a few pain uh, receptors so that the rash is not so um, inflamed and problematic until we can get it cleared up. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Sending you love. Uh, we'll let that run. And Lynn, let us know how you're feeling. I know one of the things you're doing starting out pretty soon, actually on the 9th, is a big detox call uh, so that these things, as you said, like they don't necessarily have a place to fester. So uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. But I want to go to Adele. And Adele, what can we help you with today? Let's see if she's able to plug in with us. Well, bless Hi, your heart. Thank you. Hi. Thank you Happy so Adele. much. How how wonderful. Um, I uh, have got something wrong with my stomach. The doctors can't figure it out. It's like IBS. I can barely eat anything. I've lost 67 pounds in six months and I have no thyroid. But uh, I moved into an apartment that had just been sprayed with DuPont toxins, five uh, carcinogens and dioxin that stays for 11 years. Is it just stress? And I know that's a terrible thing. Just stress. Ah, everything's stress. Right. But right. is it stress because of the sickness in the family, or have I got a Dupont toxins in my body? Oh wow! Important question. No, you you have some toxins. Yeah, thank you. I thought so because I can't get well, and I always get well. Hmm. I'm gonna have to do some research on this. For some reason, your body keeps bringing up something that's ricin-like. So I don't know what these chemicals are that they're, uh, that they used, um, but I'd like to get more information from you. I can send them to you. Or do you want me to get them now? No, no, no. Send them to me. Uh, we're going to start kind of a general spectrum chemical kind of detox to see what we can hit right now, but I'd like to get more okay. information so that I can basically test your home and go, okay, so is this one it? Is this chemical it? Is this it? And try to narrow down exactly what it is for you so we can see what that we need, how to change it. Okay. That'd be great. I didn't quite get what you said. It's, um, it's something like, I thought I heard rice in, ricin. in life. Ricin. Ricin. Mm -hmm. What is ricin? Yeah. Ricin, I ricin is a poison. Oh, isn't okay. it from yeah, like a castor bean those. or something? What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One of them is dioxin, which mm -hmm. stays in the air, attacks organs mm -hmm. uh, and it causes cancer too. And then there's five, uh, four other uh, carcinogens in there. 
And unfortunately, they moved me in less than 12 hours after the guys in the hazmat suit sprayed it into my apartment. And they did not tell me. I had just moved oh, it from another goodness. state. I had oh no idea I was moving them up. Toxins. Oh, my God. See, and ricin gets into the cells and prevents the cells from making proteins. Oh. So that would that would stop a lot of processes if your body can't make proteins and mm -hmm. would also be one of the reasons why you can't eat much. So and your body's not saying that's it, but it keeps calling it ricin like. Hmm. So, um, OK, so send me some information on what all that is and let's see what we can uh, what we can wow. do to turn that around for you. But we've got some broad okay, spectrum so different just, I, chemical processes uh, going on right now to try to break some of that up. Thank you. Thank you, Adele. I'm not sure if she's muted. Uh, maybe she muted herself. Thank you, Adele. Yeah, and uh, what I'm gonna do, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, thank you, Adele. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that. You know, I, 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 I'm not gonna give you legal advice, but I can smell lawsuit for that. Um, to be quite honest. I'm an attorney's know. daughter, but I haven't been able to find an attorney to help me out. Yeah. Huh. So I mean, I'm still trying. Wow. Like, I'm going to try legally it down. Yeah, keep looking. Yeah, that sounds like a big issue. Wow. Let me go to, uh, I'm going to go to another caller. Sorry for the noise here. Um, Nan, you may have had your self unmuted NAN. I was going to go to you next. Uh, Nan, how can we help you today? <laughs> can you can can you hear me? I sure can. Yeah. Oh wow! I can't tell because my screen is black. Um, hi, Darius and Lynn. Happy New Year. Hi, Nan. Happy New Year. Hi there. Uh, I'd like to know why uh, Melissa, my brain is sleepy, all, almost all all the time. Why is the what the, on your brain is sleepy? The left left a left I'm side. Listening. I'm listening. Left side. The left side of my brain is after that ET attack a year and a half ago. Uh, and so what makes you think that the left side of your brain is sleepy? It feels sleepy. <laughs> it feels sleepy, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there is an issue with the membrane that puts the two right side and the left side of the brain uh, together. My corpus callosum is messed up. Mm -hmm. And so it's not, it is not firing as much on that left side it is, as it is on the right. And it's also not communicating properly back and forth. And that could be the source of my dizziness or is it my cerebellum? Nope, it's the corpus callosum. Wow. Okay. It's because of the lack of communication. So we're going to start some energies on that corpus callosum and to kind of activate some on the left-hand side. Is there one of your brain MP3s I should play? Because I just bought that series. I'm like a mother that just had a baby. I can never remember what's in my <laughs> MP3s. I can tell you, I'll say to, I'll say to Ashley, I'll say, Hey, let's do a hair series. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Goes, Lynn, you have one. I'll be like, really? I didn't know that. <laughs> so I just don't ever seem to remember. So uh, send a message to Ashley at info and she'll let you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, so we have a bunch of energies going uh, on that membrane and on that left-hand side. And these are so anybody these else that's out there that needs or the the brain wants some of these energies, they will absorb it. Other ones, don't worry. Your your brain just is letting that energy pass right on through. I forgot to mention everybody. Yeah, y'all can receive this. So feel into I could just feel some people going, no, I don't need that, and kind of pushing it away. So your body will just let it go right on through. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Nan. I I want to hear <laughs> I wanted to hear more about what she said about an ET situation, but I, we're going to go to Cindy because I know we're trying to help folks. So, um, sending love to everybody. It's a weird weird time on Earth. There's you know, and the bigger question here, Lynn. I I'm always trying to pull the bigger themes up. It seems like stuff that we used to be able to hold in our body, and it was okay. It's coming up, and our bodies don't want it anymore. 
Ridge Plaker, I don't want this density. I don't want this trauma. I don't want this memory. I don't want this old belief system. And the more we try to hold on to it as our vibration goes up, it starts knocking around in there. It starts sort of jarring us and it's, it's not actually good for our bodies. Uh, what is going on with that bigger picture of, of what the bodies are wanting to do with this stuff? It's kind of like, you know, our buckets are full. If your body was a yeah. bucket, the bucket is full. But but not only that, it's like, it's more like, what's that old analogy of like the two, two midgets in a bag? You know what I'm saying? They're fighting, right? <laughs> you said midgets. I know. I just, I, did you see my hesitation before I, I said it? I was like, oh my God, I'm going to say me something. And Leonard, me and Leonard are old school. Uh, being inappropriate. Uh, but you know, they're, they're fighting. So it's not even just the bucket is full. It's like, there's all this junk in there and they're just like trying to fight yeah. it out inside yeah. the bucket going, I, I don't want this. I want this out, you know, but they can't get out of the bucket. So they just are in there fighting. And there's a lot of times I'll go into bodies and it's like the inside of the bodies are fighting and the pancreas is going, it's not me. It's the thyroid and, the th and it's not me. It's the liver. And, and now they're pointing fingers and bodies don't usually point fingers. You know, it's to the point where they're like a pressure cooker. So, you know, that's, that's what the body wants to stuff up and out. That's why a lot of times it can be easy to get rid of some things sometimes because the bodies are just like, please, all you have to do is say, yes, I'm willing. And I can just push this stuff out and you don't have to have it anymore. But that's also one of the reasons why you see so many people getting things like rashes and, and illnesses all the time, because those are those healing crises because the bodies are going, I'm just done. I've had enough like lay down for a minute, figure it out. Yeah. The bodies want it out. You said, and that's what's happening now. I think all these densities that we could hold on to 30 years ago, or maybe our mothers and fathers did, you know, I mean, there were people in relationships did some bad stuff to each other. You know, it was like John Connery would talk about like, you know, he'd slap women. It's like, you know, that's terrible. Right. And in the old days, like some of these things were just nuts. People were doing, but they could, do these things and still be healthy. I don't think we can do certain vibrational things or hold certain vibrations and stay in health. And for most of us, we've never really done anything that really is that harmful. But even just those feelings or those things that we're holding on to that aren't for us, it's like they're causing our bodies to break down. So we've got to really let them go. You know, I can't even like imagine like hunting an animal. I used to fish. <laughs> Literally, like I used to love fishing. Now I can't even fish because I don't want to hurt the animals. I'm like, I don't want to hurt the fish. Like, I hate it when I have to pull the hook out of their mouth. Like, I, I've changed over like 30 years. So we're just getting more and more light. And all this stuff is just harder to hold in the body. So I think this is what happened to a lot of folks. So but morality has light. also changed, yeah. you know, where it's yes. like all of a sudden, you know, we're not supposed to do things like you know, kill a cow or eat a fish or kill a fish. You know, everybody wants to eat the meat and eat the fish. They just don't want to know how it's really done and yeah. processed to get to their plate, you yeah. know? So that's all kind of been, you know, that's, that's like the woman that was pregnant, you know, back in the sixties and she wasn't married, you know, she had to go hide during that mm. period. It wasn't something that anybody was supposed to know about. That's kind of how we deal with our, food supply that's actual food these yeah. days so yeah. and and even the food that's not food just don't tell us anything about how you make it just jam all kinds of junk in it and here just be happy and eat it so <laughs> but morality has changed and so when that happens now all of a sudden you know we've been kind of trained that you need to feel guilty about everything you know oh just like that okay i said i said a bad m word that's not socially acceptable anymore so i'm sitting here like beating myself up inside you know because i did something wrong socially that's not acceptable it's not okay so people go into guilt they go into fear oh my goodness am i going to lose half the clients on here because i said something yeah. that was naughty you know, we go into this whole panic attack afterwards. And that's what we've been trained to do these days with social media and everything being right out there for everybody to see. That's right. A D says guilt serves no one. Yeah. No, it and, doesn't. You know, it kills it a lot. It kills. And when you empower words to have such strong connotations, you disempower, you know, logic, reason, and wisdom. You just have these reactions to things and, you know, and uh, I think we're ascending beyond it, but that's what, where the bodies, we have to let go. And this is what we're doing. So, and we want to bring in the energies to rejuvenate. So let me go to Cindy. Um, Cindy, 
you've got some questions. And Lynn tried to keep this light about, you know, <laughs> feeling uh, younger, rejuvenated, uh, more beautiful, more aligned. And I keep going into the bigger themes of humanity because I think they're both kind of playing. We are these timeless, ageless, light vessels without carrying all this gunk. And we want to go back to that. And that's why our bodies don't like having that stuff. Uh, what's going on with our dear guest, Cindy? How can we help you? Hi there. Thank you so much for calling on me. Hi, um, Cindy. Hi. So I'm uh, 61 years old and I generally feel in pretty good health. Um, but I have some things that just bug me, like my left knee is bothering me. I feel like I'm getting arthritis in my thumbs and wrists. Um, I'm not necessarily happy with the aging effects of my face. <laughs> you know, these things as you get older. But Lynn, I'm just wondering what you see and if you're, if uh, my body is giving you any messages about what I'm doing or something maybe I should or shouldn't be doing. So your body's telling me the left knee and the arthritis and the thumbs and the wrist, this is all a uh, vitamin deficiency. Okay. Oh, interesting. Well, it's kind of a play on deficiency and overage in how the body processes I'm trying to see exactly what's all involved. So the three top things it's bringing up is hemoglobin, zinc, and water processing. Hmm. Now, what the funny thing about that with it bringing up hemoglobin most people just think, you know, the first thing that might come to mind is, well, I'm anemic or I'm not anemic, right? But mm -hmm. really, you have to remember that the heme is what carries oxygen to the body, mm -hmm. to the tissues. Okay. And anytime you have any ache or pain or problem in the body, the real problem is low oxygen. Because if you have a high oxygenated environment, it's not possible for the tissue really not to be healthy. So, <clears throat> we are looking at your hemoglobin and how your body carries oxygen. So the other interesting piece to this to me is notice it brought up how your body transport oxygen throughout the body and how your body processes water. So that can give you problems with like lubrication and things like that in different joints. Oh, uh -huh. okay. And zinc and copper have a fine balance. And so we are not only looking at the zinc, but copper and how they balance out. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth for me. All right. So... With pretty much any kind of work I do, remember you can also try to help the body direct some energies. So in this package, we're going to work on some stem cells. Okay. Now, normally when people hear, you know, things about stem cells, and I think I'm going to add in um, bone marrow, I'll write that down. Um, when we do stuff on stem cells, you in particular, make sure that you remind your body about your, the stem cells that are in the bone marrow and especially the ones that regulate your oxygenation. Okay. And there are some other things that are in the program for oxygenation and circulation that will also help. Okay, great. So we have a couple of different things running for you right now, but there are some specific things in this program that will help with your uh, arthritis, especially. And great. you have to remember, if you're not getting great oxygen, you're going to age 
whether it's in the face or the hands or the legs or the whatever, you're going to age there more as well, because that's what creates aging. Everything, everything is created by lack of oxygen. Right. Okay. So make sure you're out there taking nice, deep breaths. You know, one of my, uh, one of my favorite guys, Gary Brecca, who is a morbidity, um, practitioner or investigator, he can tell when somebody's going to die, like literally 98% um, accuracy. It's just oh. so crazy. And he's really looking at people's oxygenation levels and that's how he can predict it. Oh. And so, you know, I, I just, I just love that, that somebody from a scientific level is finally getting there because you know, you hear all about like structured water and alkaline water. All that really is, is that when that pH goes up, that means a higher oxygenation level. So what is cancer? Cancer is where you have acidic pockets in the body. Why is it acidic? Because something happened that made your alkalinity drop, that made your oxygenation in that area drop. And then that's what makes it an environment that cancer can thrive in. Same thing with parasites and, and, um, bacteria and viruses and all of them, they have to have a low oxygenated environment to be able to thrive. So we want to make sure that we get this raised so that it doesn't develop into anything more for you, right? Right. But for right now, it has settled in your joints. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, Cindy. Yeah. Uh, thank you for that, Lynn, as well. I didn't realize uh, that. Um, these things could affect our oxygenation. And what was the, you know, I was trying to think, is it shallow breathing or was there a process in the body where somehow the oxygen levels weren't coming up as high as they should? Yeah. What sorry. I the, didn't finish that. So I was going to yeah. say, make sure you're doing some, I'm not like a big breathing person, but the problem is most people breathe like between 16 to 24 breaths a minute. We were meant to breathe four to eight. So sit down one day and just kind of close your eyes and put a timer on. Because if you watch the clock, you're going to breathe less than you normally would breathe. Okay. But if you check it, most people are 16 to 24. And the problem with that is that means that you are not expelling all of the CO2, the carbon dioxide out of your lungs. Okay. When you don't expel that you aren't now taking in enough oxygen. So it makes you breathe more often. Okay. Well, what that basically means is you're not getting oxygen into the body. So, you know, take a nice deep breath and, and mouth breathing is not breathing really. It needs to be, you know, and when I'm really calm, I'm right around five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've done <laughs> meditations where I'm two a minute. And I think let's do that now. Let's see. Everyone just kind of try to breathe as slow as possible. I'm going to run the timer since we brought this up. Hopefully my phone will show here. Eh, not so good. Not so good. Why is it so dark? Okay, here we go. I'm going to run the timer. Let's see what y'all can do. And if you can't see my phone, that's okay. Don't go as slow as you can. Literally just do normal. Close your eyes and just do normal. Try to count how many you're getting here in a minute. Just play with it, just to reference. That was about a minute. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me know how many y'all got or what you were doing. I mean, some people were like, I'm just going to breathe normal. So we were like, oh, I'm going to try to breathe real slow. And, and see, even, even I caught, I think it was on my fourth one. I caught that I exhaled and I literally went, you didn't exhale completely. And I went, yeah. I still had yeah. like another two second release of air when I caught myself. So right. pay attention yeah. to your exhales till you kind of retrain yourself a little bit. 
and and this is the we're getting a lot of comments coming back. Scotty Satori ten, Yvonne six, Ani five to six, five or five says Ani. Uh, eight says Layla. Marcy said uh, six. Linda <coughs> said four. Uh, so they're they're all coming in. Karen ten. You know the other thing is like how we approach life. Like if you're always rushed, like you're not even finishing your breath, and you like you got to now get to the inhale again. Like I haven't even finished exhaling, and I got to inhale again. And you're always kind of running around. It's like we can actually slow down our world by slowing down our breath and allowing us to get the fullness of each moment of each breath allows us to get the fullness of life. And I think it's a great metaphor to great truth. So just one little piece here to, to think about. Um, yeah. So a lot of people doing good. Once we ask them to kind of slow down. Yeah. Five, four. That's pretty good. Six. I've done some meditations where it's just completely normal just to have two. For me, I can do two. And it's like just that, you know, 15 inhale, 15 exhale, 15 inhale, 15 exhale. And, you know, you have to see what works for you. But it's amazing how it will immediately change the next few hours of your day. Just having that slowdown and that ability to uh, really control that reality through breath. So, yeah. You know, it's funny here. when I was a kid <clears throat> and I was a competitive swimmer in high school, I actually had asthma and had a hard time breathing outside. But when I swam, I could swim two lengths. So that was 50 yards of the pool without ever coming up for air. So, you know, it's funny what you can train yourself to, right? So play with this and, and even when you're out doing things, you know, I yeah. catch myself, you know, I'm on a, I'm on a ranch and lots of fresh air. So, you know, I go outside. The first thing my body does is just this big, oh, mm. you know, and I try now to make sure that I really let all of it out. So remember aging and everything, what, what Gary Breck actually said, and I just cracked up when I heard it was everybody dies of lack of oxygen. That's the bottom line. Everybody dies of lack of oxygen, whether your brain doesn't have it anymore, whether your heart doesn't have it anymore, whether it was from, you know, a car accident or a stroke or a heart attack or cancer or whatever, everybody dies of lack of, lack of oxygen. So it's the way that you keep your skin and every organ in your body healthier, looking better, feeling better, and functioning properly is oxygenation. So whatever we can do to get better oxygenation, that's what we want to work on. I love it. Yeah. Well, Joan says, thank you so much. Angel says, wow. Uh, a lot of people coming in with some of their numbers. Actually, everybody did really good. And just that conscious intent and, you know, do that also thinking about what you want to create for 2024 too. slowing the breath down and getting very deliberate with what you want for yourself is going to slow your world down where you start to create your world versus being at the effect of your world. Uh, and with that, we want to create something new today. So we're going to do a process called the radio frequency treatment. And Lynn, I probably bought this a bit in the introduction. So tell me a little bit about what this is and what we're going to be receiving energetically as an equivalent to this physical 3D process today? Well, their bodies picked this because it just didn't have to do with skin. So radio frequencies literally um, heat up the, the skin and different layers. And uh, there's other pieces too that we're gonna get to in a minute. But basically in the skin arena, it liquefies fat cells and then tightens the different layers of skin. But what I loved about it was it also improves that joint function and relieves pain because again, here's where it targets thermal damage to the nerves. So basically is damaging the nerves that innervate that painful tissue. So let's say your knee is hurting, right? It's going to damage the nerves going to the knees and that then disrupts that pain signal. Now, when we do it, we're not going to damage any nerves. We're going to do it in a different way. But that's basically what a radio frequency treatment does. So there's a bunch of different types, but really it's an electromagnetic frequency is what they're using. Okay. Um, we're also going to do a little bit of microneedling in this. There's a machine called like a Morpheus. And a lot of the, the names I can't say just because they're copyrighted. So it's something yes. like that. 
Um, but we're going to try to get to a particular temperature level, and we're going to try to um, use a little bit of the microneedling to uh, help to create that collagen and elastin that we want. And we're also going to try to penetrate some fat layers. So for the best result, I would try to pick a place in your body, okay, okay. that you want but what I also want you to do is let your body pick a place because 99% of the time, your place is not your body's place. <laughs> so you might say, okay, I want it here. And the body goes, okay, I really want it in the knee. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I want you to pick one and let your body pick one and let's do the process. Okay. And the RF treatment is dealing with not just fat loss per se it's also pain interrupting the transmission of pain signals or what yeah so okay. so basically it it's going to help with fat cells or tightening so okay. you can like pick it you know for the abdominal area if you want more fat cells kind of thing or you can no, we don't want more fat cells in our abdominals no okay. no it'll help to get rid of that not help get you rid throw of it, it. You're rid of yeah it. <laughs> we don't have but it also then goes and helps to release pain in okay. different areas, in different joints, especially, or in different oh, okay. tissues. Okay. So cool. We got two choices then. We got two okay. things we're going to select today. Cool. Okay. Yep. So one for you and let your body pick. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. So, and you may feel some heat in these areas because we're trying to raise the temperature. We're using some electromagnetic energies. A lot of energies go into people's faces right now, especially. I'm going to say faces, knees, and hips seem to be the winner, winner, chicken dinner. We have this electromagnetic frequency going in there. Heating up, stimulating different things to pull out inflammation. For more rapid recovery and healing. Stimulate collagen and elastin, which tighten and tone. We have some people who have some teeth discomfort and we're it's going after the nerves and pain receptors in teeth We're doing some of the micro needling now. I don't know about anybody else, but it kind of makes me, my face especially feel almost like itchy, but underneath where you can't get to it. The other thing about doing these processes energetically, we can use them in places they can't use them in the physical because it would be too dangerous, like closer to the eyes.
Some of y'all are cheating and doing a bunch of different places. That's okay. <laughs> We've kind of jumped to the abdomen. Lots of hip and knees. Some are actually in the feet. Wow. And for some people, this is working on hair loss up in the scalp. Love when these we do these processes because the bodies just throw all kinds of things out. So you guys know you have an electromagnet in your heart as well as in your brain. <clears throat> and some of you are out of sync. So we're putting that back in order. Some bodies are using this for gingivitis, moving through the gums. That's why I love this kind of stuff because, you know, I don't think they use radio frequencies in a dental office anywhere, but yet the bodies will say, hey, this is going to work here. This is what I want. And it will go ahead and use the energies for it. All right, the body's put it on a timer. It's going to keep running for another 15 minutes. So you're going to go through periods of, of warm and it may stay there for a little while and it may cool back down and move to a different area. I want to hear from everybody. I'm just kind of blown away here. My face feels like it's all warm and tingly, like not just on the surface, but like deep down. And I just feel very, like, just very spacey, but very spacious, kind of like everything is expanded. Um, you know, this contraction that I think is what, it's kind of what makes us begin to go through that entropy process, you know, versus that growth process. Like, it feels like that entropy is just kind of fading away and it's like this expansiveness. Um, so I don't Very know if cool. that relates to anti-aging, but it feels like it kind of does like this process where at a certain age, like our body just starts kind of like preparing to leave versus like expanding well, and, and think of and somebody as they get older, they kind of contract yes. and yeah. do this, you know, that's right. Like it feels like everything is just like, even the cells are like plumping. So I don't know. That's what I'm getting this intuitive feeling on it feels really good. Now I'm feeling it here. I'm I'm good with it. I want more. This feels good. I'll take the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. The tingling really started oh, wow. like up in here. And a lot of it was that um I think that's yeah. that's the micro needling right that it really wanted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
let me hear what people are saying. I'm giggling. If this is what the series is going to be like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm taking it all. Um, this is very cool. Um, okay, so we got a lot of tingling going on here. Let me know what y'all are feeling and where. I'm very curious. I'm going to read some of these. Um, tingling, hot, tissue on scalp, felt it in my hands. God bless you, Lynn. Felt it in my scalp. Yeah, now it's moving up here. Um, tingling, hot, love and so many blessings. Relax, sleepy. Uh, my face felt warm as have other parts of my body as well as tingling. I felt my face also felt itchy during the microneedling. Warmth at the back of my heart. I could feel it in my face. Face, hot, tingling abdomen. Tingling in face and teeth. Emotion and sadness. You know what I'm finding is very interesting, like half and half. Some people are feeling it in the face or in the physical body. Some people are feeling it in the emotional body, like the heart, release, sadness. What's going on there? Uh, it sounds like these are these are affecting us at multiple layers. Yeah, we're we're not going to do TFEs, thoughts, feelings, and emotions in this series, okay. but that doesn't mean but. that when you change tissue, if you've been hiding something in that tissue or storing it in that tissue, that doesn't mean that that's not going to come up up and out. So okay. you want to just watch that like a movie, be the observer, and just let it come up and out. Okay, don't just try like to hold work. on to it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to jump in, but it's like the stories when people are doing body work and they're massaging like a shoulder and all of a sudden emotion comes up. It's almost like, oh my God, I haven't thought about that in years. Yeah. Is this is working in our faith? There's energy stored everywhere. So invariably, what we're talking about at one level is going to affect multiple levels. Uh, mm -hmm. and that's what we're seeing. So a lot of interesting stuff going on. And you know, I want to I want to bring in some depth to this because I know people are going to have questions about what Lynn is doing and everything else because it is actually going to get pretty deep, and we're going to walk through it. And if you've been wondering about this or why it's been so popular, I'm going to kind of share. First of all, it's at uwealthrevolution.com forward slash uh, Lynn L Y N N twenty six. And what Lynn is doing is the Radiant Beauty series. Now, what's very interesting about this is uh, it's literally, can everybody see my screen, Lynn? Can you see it? Things look yes. kind of funky here. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure. I don't see myself anymore, but I don't know if they, anybody sees a window of us, but uh, we'll see if we can fix that. But what you're basically doing is you're helping people to actually get the effect of 35 cosmetic corrective recovery and discomfort or painful energy related procedures and therapies all in one for the first time ever and this is the radiant beauty series and so we're going to be talking about it real quick and uh lynn anything you want to say about that uh as we kind of walk through this because this is the story is like we're not just going to be looking at these things from one level the effects are going to potentially be at multiple levels of who and what we are and that's what we're actually seeing on the call today well just like the the rf uh treatment that we just did you know i wasn't expecting to feel it in the gums that's not something that's quote unquote standard protocol yeah. but it goes there so if if that's something that your body can use that's one of the reasons why i wanted you to pick something you wanted and let the give the body the freedom to pick something that it wanted because you might forget that you have pain. Like somebody wrote in and said, my toe spoke up all of a sudden and there are problems there. Yeah, so the body is gonna, you give the body the freedom to push out whatever it needs to push out rather than you just saying, this is what I want, you know, mentally, spiritually, yeah. physically. Um, so give the body that permission when you go through this series, because you may find a whole lot of things get released that you weren't necessarily expecting. I got to say something weird here. I'm actually seeing incredibly clear right now. And I know that sounds odd that that would happen, but like literally. I didn't mention it, but the RF went in a bunch of people's eyes. And I was like, yeah, okay, I got to look that one up. So that was it's interesting. It's in my eyes because there's times like I'll read comments and I'm kind of like, I got to squint because I got lights coming in. So there's like, you know, imagine a bright light coming in to light up the room. And then you're looking at screen, And I'm like, I see everything. Like it's like literally crystal. So we don't know where this stuff is going to go, but if you are feeling like you'd like some rejuvenation, let your body decide. Mine just went to the eyes. <laughs> That's what we're going to be talking about. Um, let me go to a few things here. Um, great question. When was the last time you felt as radiant on the outside as you are on the inside? 
Let's get to some specifics. We're going to talk about re rejuvenation, restoration, revitalization, and a lot more. It's the Radiant Beauty series. And uh, on the page, you're going to see everything that Lynn's going to be working with. A lot of people have been opting for one-on-one -on -one time with you, uh, which I want to talk about. But as you look here, um, hold on one second. I got some weird things going on with the screen here. Um, we're going to be talking about some of these things. Lynn, uh, the things we've mentioned, uh, energetic facials, injury, surgery, recovery to help people at a deep level. You've got them all listed out here. Skin, uncovering the secrets to achieving Useful radiant, useful skin, hair and nails, joint rejuvenation, cranial sacral therapy, deep sleep experience, and a lot, lot more. Let me try to jump to the page again. It was acting up a little bit. Let's and if they do to choose that. to have a session, uh, the sessions are available starting in February. So I don't want you to get upset and say, oh my goodness, I have to wait because I really would like for you to go through the program before you have the session. Why not utilize that time the best that you can? Let all these energies of all the remote remedies work on you. Then let's go ahead and tie things up in the session afterwards. So, so don't get don't get wound up if you don't get in right away for a session. That's right. So uh, tell us a little bit for, for people. I know a lot of folks have been grabbing one-on-one -on -one sessions with you. How will the one-on-one -on -one sessions coordinate with this program or what's the, what's the coordination there? Because there, I mean, you could work on just about anything that people need help with, right? So if they yeah. want, you know, any of the things that they feel are an issue, or they just want you to look at <laughs> where the energy may be off for 2024 for them, uh, you can help them do that. Yeah. I mean, somebody may have diabetes and this series isn't necessarily going to change their diabetes, but they can go through this program and have all kinds of changes. And then we can work on in the session, the actual diabetes piece. So we can work on anything you want in the session. Sometimes okay. people also will uh, gift them to their their dog or their spouse or their children. So, uh, you know, it's completely up to you. I will ask you, what do you want to work on? And just like we did in this RF group process, I'll also be asking the body, what do you want to work on? And we want to see if they're, they're kind of the same, or a lot of times you'll bring up a symptom and I'll work on a different place that the body takes me to. And that symptom will be worked out by where the body took you to. But, you know, we're so used to, okay, here's a symptom. This is what I have that we're not really looking where did it actually begin? Okay. And we are going to get to some more questions. So for the folks that are writing in with questions, we're going to do a little wild card. So stay with us to the end. And then I want to get to the few specifics here, but we're going to keep helping folks. Lynn, I want to talk about um, some of the specifics, meaning uh, the areas that we're going to be looking at here. And I've mentioned it, hair and nails, joints, cranial sacral. Hopefully y'all can all see that. Skin, circulation, deep sleep, injury, surgery, recovery, energetic facial, uh, vision techniques, uh, which we started already seeing that, at least I did, energetic phase lift, uh, body sculpting, building lean muscle energetically, and a lot more. And it's energetic support. And what makes it very different is 35 procedures, the energetic equivalent, and it's all here. And I'll share real quick, but people just want to grab this without the time with Lynn, it's 177, which meaning without the one-on-one -on -one or two payments of 89. And Lynn, I mean, you've said really quite candidly, I don't think there's any one of these things you could get for $177. Maybe one, I don't know, but it I, would only I be one time. One. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know of one either. They're usually like hundreds, <laughs> if not thousands. And you have to do it over and over again, where once you get this once, you're going to own the energetic equivalents of these for life, we leave them up for you. You can download them. So you're going to have them. So you can redo it as much as you want. And, you know, obviously don't overdo it, but do it as you feel the need. Very yeah. true. Very true. It's it's in your rep it's in your repertoire. It's in your tool belt for the rest of your life. So and you know, you can use it on you and you can when you play it in your house. Other people in your household will also kind of get the energy of that. So we've had that happen a lot of times in in weight loss series where you play it in the house and all of a sudden the husband ends up losing a bunch of weight. And yeah, you're like, funny. wow, my pants are loose. And you're like, darn it, I haven't lost as much as he has, you know? And it's just because he's sitting there while you're playing everything on mute. Oh my goodness. Well, I love that. Well, these are good frequencies uh, for folks. 
especially uh, in these times. And that's one of the reasons you're starting up January 10th through February 12th with Monday, Wednesday, Friday, remote energy work. Tell us a little bit about this uh, because these are 15 to 20 minutes of MP3s on a particular process or a particular topic. And it's more than five hours of energy work. Tell us what you're going to be doing here. Um, and here's some of the things like that have happened in the past. Eczema gone, people <laughs> having changes in their body. Uh, I'm not going to repeat that. Uh, <laughs> ankles looking like they did 30 years ago. Lines on the face diminishing. Fantastic feedback for a 72-year-old to, to hear. Uh, they literally had a cataract that shifted. So, you know, it, I want to be clear. I mean, we're not doing medical treatments. We're not doing medical advice guidance. This is energetically letting your body kind of choose the energetics that it needs to realign, rebalance. We don't know what's going to happen, right? We want to let your body be the best it can be. And that's why some of this stuff went to my eyes. I still see clearly. I want more of it. It's going to go where it needs to go. And you're going to, you're going to see what happens. That's what's exciting too. Yep. So all the things that you mentioned on the sales page are pretty much um, what's in the package. The live call, we're going to do kind of organ tune-ups and the cold water hack that we did uh, on the first interview. We're going to do that in there. We're going to work on detoxing free radicals and do some hormone work to kind of get the bodies all prepared. But after that, it really is by topic. You know, I don't think I've ever really done like hair and nails. We're even going to do hack that eyelash serum that people oh, do. Wow. I'm like, I did that one time and burnt my eyeballs and I'm like, oh my God, yeah, I'm never my, doing this again. There's no way. Yeah, my wife can't do it either. She has some little serum that you buy and her eyes got oh. all swollen. Can't do it. So yep, can't do oh. it. So that's the perfect reason for the energetic work because you don't have to worry about having that kind of chemical allergy re reaction to it. I think that's the other reason why I like this so much is because my body doesn't like any chemicals. So it's, and I have quote unquote allergic reactions to so many things. It can be scents and I don't know, just anything. And it's because my body's just like, I don't want that chemical. I don't want it in me. I don't want it on me. I don't want it near me. And so, you know, I'll get some sort of reaction. So, you know, this, my body loves this stuff. Send in your questions to us at the uwealthrevolution.com forward slash Lynn, L-Y-N-N 26. And in one week, which basically I believe is going to be the 9th of January, Lynn has a kickoff deep talk call we're going to talk about in a moment. But what I'm getting with this is something really important. And that is that your body is able to receive the energies that allow it to keep unfolding versus that decline, atrophy, and entropy. And this is why, okay, oh, we're going to grow eyelashes maybe, right? Your body starts these processes moving forward versus, oh, well, our eyelashes are going to fall out, right? We want to move the bodies forward to rejuvenate. And that energy is going to feel good everywhere. Those are the energies of life force. And this is the bigger story here. If you're not feeling like you're ready for the new year, Join us here. We're gonna make we're gonna make you feel good. And you know, what do you lose in ability to earn, to be, to create, to find happiness, joy, love when you're in pain, right? It is very hard to be feeling abundance or creating abundance or creating possibilities when you're suffering. Yes, we can do it, but it's so much easier when you feel good. So that's why I think it's so key. And um, this piece here uh, is what I mentioned. You're gonna be. Cleansing the canvas, you talked by cleansing the canvas. Why is that important? I mean, we did a whole series on toxins. I mean, it, it's unbelievable what's out there and what's in our food now, but why is it important to cleanse this canvas for where we're going to be going in this program in 2024? We're going to do a lot of work with the free radicals. So remember, those are things that are in the blood. Again, why do we want to do that? It's all about the oxygenation. So we're going to work on getting hormones. Uh, and getting that body in peak performance so that these, all of these remote remedies then will work even better for you. If your okay. estrogen and everything's completely out of whack, we know that that can make tougher, thicker skin, or we know that that can uh, create more wrinkles. So we have to get those things balanced so that these other things will work even better for you. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, I want to let everyone know as well. We're going to be uh, getting to some questions, so sending them in. Uh, and uh, we got a lot of other things like the seven radiant beauty support audios. 
I mean, these get very specific. Tell me about this. Wrinkle-free skin, connective tissue, joint jazz up, phytochemicals, vitamins for be youthful skin. I love that. Beautiful skin. Way wiser than me on that. I missed that one. <laughs> vitamin E, vitamin K. Tell us about some of these organ fat release. I mean, we're just hearing a lot about fatty organs and, and the uh, damage that can cause fat for skin and health. We uh, just try to pick these. different MP3s that would be good supportive MP3s for what we're trying to do in this series. And those are ones that people can start, you know, especially people that purchase this program maybe a couple of weeks ago, or even now you have another week before the program begins. So these are things that you can start getting the body working on to do a bunch of release work before the series starts. Okay. All right. And I'm going to send everyone a special message. I'm not going to repeat it. I'm not repeating it on the call because it won't be around maybe tomorrow. So if you are a time sensitive type person, you may want to look at that because I got something pretty cool that I just sent out, uh, but I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> Lynn, uh, there's a few other elements I want to cover here too, as well in the program things that are going to help folks make a big difference. The 15 day remote remedies, the 60 minute live group session, which is going to be happening January 9th. And if you miss it, don't worry, you're going to get all the recordings, seven, seven powerful radiant beauty support audios uh, that are part of this as well. And then also hormone hormones for better skin, anti-aging and weight loss, plus the effects of stress on your appearance. You're going to be looking at releasing and re removing that. And a lot more. All of that is just $177 discounted from $39.95. But heck, we've already said this is like $400,000 of these different protocols. You can see all of it. Or you can do two payments of $89. You can see everything Lynn's covering on the page. It's a very well put together offering and page. And she's never done anything like this before. And Lynn, I don't know when you're going to do this again. So maybe the only time you don't repeat stuff. I mean, you do it once mm -hmm. and then I never see it again. And I'll go back and go, oh my gosh, that was so incredible. I wish we could do that again. And Lynn, <laughs> now we're moving on. So you may <laughs> want to grab it. It's pretty serious stuff. Uh, it's right here, 177 or two payments of 89, which I love. Because like I said, I totaled this stuff up. You know, you were looking at about $400,000. And that just means you did each thing once. If you do it more than once, it just doubles and then doubles again and doubles again and doubles again. So I love it. Yep. And we've got the one-on-ones. And if people are wondering, uh, it's 25 minutes with Lynn. She's got spaces set aside for February 5th. One of the things you said, you want people to go through the whole program as much as possible, or at least the components they can before the session. So you can really work on those real stubborn things. Yeah. So Tell me a little bit about that. That That's to help people get the most out of their time with you and also, you know, accelerate them even farther forward in 2024. Yeah, because sometimes people jump right in. They want to get right into that session, but those are things that are going to be covered in the remote remedy. So I don't wait, want you to waste your, your money. Wait till the end, see what, what shakes out, what you still want to work on after the program's over. And then we'll go ahead and tackle anything that was stubborn or hard uh, for your body to release that you still want to let go. I love it. And I do want to make note, if you want to grab uh, this for a friend or family member, you can add them. There's a way to do that. It's only $77. And Lynn's one-on-one -on -one time is only $397, which this will get you package A, package B, uh, which is time with Lynn. You can break that out. And some people are pretty ambitious. They're like, hey, I want 2024 to be my year. So I'm going to do three sessions with Lynn. This lets you set aside three 25-minute sessions with Lynn. And again, that's package C. So it's a little bit pricier. But it's three sessions with Lynn set aside to use for you. And her calendar is already filling up for 2024. And for some people, you know, that price point is actually very inexpensive for the three sessions because they're looking to shift some big things that – are really holding them back. So it's a great value either way, any way you do it. Uh, Lynn, anything you want to say about anything at all? And then I want to get to some questions because we're going to do that for folks. And also I want to get to, uh, we do have an expiring bonus. I'm going to mention real quick. And that expiring bonus is going to be all about fitness focus. So if you have a moment after you answer my first question, which was just anything you want to share about the sessions or anything else, 
Uh, we'll talk about that for a moment. But any other comment about uh, the program or what we're doing going forward? No, I'm I'm ready to see what people's questions are and see what we can do to help. Okay, and fitness focus. Tell me a real quick about that. I was curious because I'm very excited about that bonus that's going to be for people between now and Sunday at midnight. Um, what is that about? Well, you know, again, the more that we do some fitness work, the more oxygenation we get. So whatever we okay. can do to build, and we kind of bypassed when we were talking earlier too, people don't think much about building lean muscle, but the more lean muscle that you have built, the better your body is in shape. And that's the main thing that people lose during the aging process. We don't get up, we don't move around enough. And the more lean muscle we have, the less fat then that we have, it keeps us mobile. It keeps those tissues oxygenated better. So fitness is a big piece of it. So part of this is just kind of doing the fitness work from the inside. Do it from the inside. And then you also may feel better to, to go do a little more on the outside. That's, exactly. you know, that what keeps people from working out is they feel so out of shape, but get that, get over that hump. You know, my own life, I've noticed if I don't train my quadriceps, if I don't do like leg work, heavy, like leg press up, my knees start hurting and you think it's the opposite. Oh, well, you're not, you know, you're, you're lifting weights for your legs. So your knees won't hurt. No, it's actually when my quadriceps get weaker, guess what takes the brunt of the force from walking and stairs, my joints. When my thighs are strong, it's all in my muscles, right? And so you remember that Lynn's saying something very true. And for a lot of you like, well, I can't go to the gym. I don't feel like it. Start with the fitness focus free gift. And then you're going to feel better just to do stuff at home or walk better, or have more energy. So you can get over that hump in 2024. It's absolute truth what you're saying, Lynn. So and for me, it's my lower back. So I do a lot mm -hmm. of core and lower back stuff. Absolutely. Brilliant. Brilliant. You're bringing forth brilliant truths today. I love it. Let me get to some questions. Um, this is from Catherine. She says, question, Lynn, I have small white dots on my skin all over my body. Not sure what they are or what causes them. Small white dots. And everyone else, send in your questions. We're going to go to Q&A right now. So you picked up a... You picked up a parasite. Hmm. So we're working on it energetically, but if you want to do something in the physical, you can try some black walnut or some artemisia. But we're doing a parasite cleanse on you right now. It keeps showing me lettuce and fish. As being good or it came you know, where from? the parasite came from. You know, and this drives me nuts, right? We want to go out to eat. We eat a salad. And then now you got uncooked stuff on your food. And here we go. And so like, what do you do? See, the biggest problem is, is I don't care what, what you do to wash your lettuce, wash your veggies, you know, running water is not going to get a parasite off of it. Okay. It's just not, um, I had bought last year for Christmas. I don't even remember what it's called, but it's like a little ring and I stick it in the water and it literally ionizes the water so that it will kill anything. And like, I love strawberries and blackberries, but they are two that have the most of these tiny little worms in them. And I used to just pick my blackberries right off the bushes and eat them until I realized, oh my goodness, there are even though I don't put any pesticides, any, anything on them, I should be able to do that. They just naturally have a lot of parasites. And so I, one day I put them in that little ionizer and couldn't believe what came out of it. So I said, well, never again, am I just going to eat it right off the, off the bush again? But again, what does the ionizer do? It's just a little ring and you plug it into your USB port to charge it. And then you put it in there. Well, what is it doing? It's raising the oxygen level in the water so high, changing the mm. pH that no buggy can survive. So they all come out of the lettuce, out of the fruit. Oh, wow. 
And so what do we, what have we been talking about with our own bodies? We need to raise our oxygenation oh. so that the buggies can't survive. It's the same principle, but outside of our body. Incredible. Incredible. Well, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to talk more about what y'all are experiencing. Um, Diana says, I'm feeling very tired, weight gain, constipation with bloating. Can Lynn, please give me an idea of what could be going on. Says, Diana last name starts with a Y. So we also have a bit of depression going on mm. and that is not helping the situation. Mm. Your body just kind of keeps showing me a picture of the body wanting to just be curled up like in a little, mm. a little nook within a little window, just kind of curled up like a little kid like this and just not kind of deal with the world. So whatever the stressors are, whatever the situation is, that puts you and your body in that mode. Because when we're in that mode, it literally shuts down processes in the body. It shuts down movement and mobility in the body. So that can be mobility of the joints, that can be mobility of the gut. And we know that when things are stagnant in the gut, it affects every other part of the body. Now, was there an event or a situation that caused that, or is it just a aggregation of different things? It's kind of showing me that this is this um, low level depression has been going on for a while. Mm. And it's almost like you just kind of ignore it and you're on autopilot. Mm. So we're kind of working on the gut. And we're working on the stress and we're also working on the brain and some of the mood neurotransmitters. A lot of people are asking about that ionizer. What was the, do you remember the name of it? And I was trying to research. I didn't know anything about this. So. I think it's called Aqua Pure. Okay. That's very cool. So yeah, y'all look that up, you know, look it up. This That's a, cool, a huge thing. I mean, there's so many things that we are learning every day. And I, I always see the opportunities, no matter what happens in the world, I look at the opportunities that consciousness is creating and I say, there will be a solution. <laughs> Whether it's discord, craziness, government's gone out of control, people losing their mind. I always think consciousness always will present the solution and this is where we are in 2024 oh there it is uh, let can me you see it. it yeah can you bring your phone up a little bit i know people have questions mm -hmm. but uh you just got a coupon oh i love that <laughs> next 48 it's, hour discount it's aquapure.co okay but you see it's like a disc oh that is so cool that's great aquapure.co very cool so it's Very what I use because at least I know then it's, you'll be amazed at what comes in your bowl of water. <laughs> you know, what I also think too, is that this will show you what higher vibration will push out of your body. So we're going to, you know, we're going to have our own version of this happening through Lynn's work. So check it out. Uh, com forward slash Lynn 26. And what I love about you, Lynn, is you bring so many new things to us that we kind of open up this new 5D world through you. So that's why I'm also excited about what you're going to be doing the beginning of the year here in 2024, which we're in now. So we're getting a lot of questions about pain, stress, a uh, lot of stuff going on real quick. Um, mm, 
Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm going to get to one question real quick from DYMPNA. And they are saying, I have osteoporosis and feel excess cortisol due to stress. I am very sensitive to stress. Any Anything for this listener here today? So with osteoporosis, we already know we have a calcium phosphorus issue going on mm. and that's all controlled by your parathyroid excess cortisol is controlled by your adrenals so we already know by this that basically we have hormones that are off right mm. and a lot of times once one hormone goes offline then other ones start to go offline like a domino effect so then the question becomes okay where is the culprit and you go to the top one. And so for her, the parathyroid is here on top of your thyroid. The problem is, is that doctors can't get to the ones that are up here in your head, your hypothalamus, your pituitary, and your pineal. So your body is saying that actually your pituitary is really what's driving the problems. The pituitary is like a traffic cop. It's it's what says, okay, wait, you you can't send that calcium to here, or you can't send that neurotransmitter to the area, there yet because you know we're letting this traffic go now. So you have to stop and wait. And so if it's not functioning properly, things aren't getting sent timely, or they're not getting sent at all, or to the right place. So we're going to work on your pituitary to get it reset. And a lot of times, the pituitary itself gets calcified. So it's kind of like a hard grain of rice. Mm. And that's what we're working on here. Mm. And this happens to a lot of people. So anybody that wants a body that needs this, just ask your body. And again, we're sending the energies here, not just for her or me, for all y'all. All right, we're going to let that continue. Your body says it has it. It knows what to do. I love it. Well, Lynn, this, this was quite an amazing call. I am very optimistic about consciousness and this 2024 year and where we're going to go. And I want just to send everybody off today in this knowing that this can be and will be the best year of your life, that you are going to release, rejuvenate, and restore the most important parts of yourself. And it is totally possible for you. I absolutely know that. And Lynn, I'm going to ask, you know, for the people that feel like they are not able to come back or to be back to what they were or to feel like they did or they feel very heavy in any way right now that you and all that you've seen, all the shifts you've seen people all over the world, I mean, rejuvenations, restorations, things we can't even say on this call because we will probably get in trouble because it's so amazing what energy can do. What would you say for those people that don't feel it's possible for them? I'd say I'm about to turn 59 and I'm in the best shape of my entire life. When I was in my early forties, I did triathlons and I became obsessed. I worked out six hours a day. Now I might've been able to ride a bike longer or run longer, but in terms of my body fat content, in terms of my weight, in terms of um, even my strength, I'm better now than I was then. And I do like, I don't know, 15 minutes, five days a week <laughs> of core exercises. And that's it. Um, I, again, I don't do anything with my skin. I don't, I don't, I don't like lotions. My body doesn't like the wow. chemicals. So at most I might get some olive oil and that's about it. So all of this stuff is possible. You can reverse the pain, you can change the aging, 
You need to change a little bit of a mindset. You need to get rid of some of these toxins and things out of your world. And then just let the body have fun with these processes because there's so many of these processes that are just going to give the body some tools that maybe they didn't think they had access to before that will help them regenerate and create that more youthful look and feel. I agree. I agree. Give the body the processes that it needs to align to your best life. And this is what Lynn is doing. It's called Radiant Beauty Series Solutions and Secrets to Rejuvenation, Restoration, Revitalization. Revitalization is starting up uh, very soon, and you can immediately get access to some of the tools. More than 30 plus energetic equivalents to some of the most cutting edge ways to rejuvenate without expensive or in of invasive procedures. And it's more than $400,000 worth calculated by me. And that's if you only use it once. And that was very conservative. So check it all out. It's there. Uwealthrevolution.com forward slash Lynn 26. And yes, your best days are ahead. Our best days are ahead. Um, please know that this is going to be an amazing year. It's going to be an exciting year for humanity. We're going to wake up. We're going to have more and more people joining the experience of tapping into that you wealth of awakening. The BS, the bullshit will not be around to have humanity hide in the darkness. We're going to wake up and we are going to be in our best and brightest space going forward. I know it. And people like Lynn are helping us do that with packages like this. And we're always going to be here for you. So Lynn, thank you for being here, sharing so with much. us and opening the call today. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing everybody here in a week. You know what? Have to do it. Check it out and look for the special little thing that I mentioned as well. Because We've got that right now, but not tomorrow. You may want to check that out. Much love, everyone. We'll see you on the next UL session. Watch your email tonight for the special little thing. Before it's gone, we'll see you on the next session. And we love you. And we honor you. And I know your best days are ahead. Please know that you are a divine light being. You came from light. You go to light. All we have to do is embody as much light as possible while we are here on earth. And everything will change. So bring that in. Know it's you. And know there is no struggle. All of that is gone this year. We're going to move into some amazing things. And I'm here to hold that space for you. Much love. We'll see you on the next UL session. Take care, everyone. Bye, everybody.